In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus is the bread of life given to us as our everlasting food. We pray during this Eucharist to come to a deeper relationship with Jesus and ask forgiveness for times we have not responded to his gift of himself. Lord Jesus, you are the true bread from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the bread that brings everlasting life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread that satisfies all hunger. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt? As we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread, but you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day, the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, in the evening twilight, you shall eat flesh, and in the morning, you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the morning, in the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were the fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the Israelites asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, this is the bread that the Lord had given you to eat. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I declare and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. That is not how you learned Christ. Assuming that you have heard of him and were taught in him as true in Jesus, that you should put away the old self of your former way of life, corrupted to deceitful desires, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on the new self, created in God's way, in righteousness and holiness of truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel, the good news, according to John. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are not looking for me because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, what can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. So they said to him, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My father... <coughs> gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Remember last week, after Jesus had fed the 5,000, gathered up all the leftovers, uh, he disappeared because they wanted to make him a king, so he went away. Now they go looking for him. That's when the gospel of today begins. And finally they found him, and they're amazed at how he got there. And then Jesus knows why they're there. He said, you're looking for me because I just fed you. The words are saying, if we stay close to this Jesus. We will never have to go to the grocery store ever again and buy food. He's our free meal ticket. And Jesus said, no, that's not the bread I'm talking about. Then they say, well, show us something that we might put our trust in you. Show you something. He just fed 5,000 people from five loaves and a couple of fish. Isn't that miracle enough? They said, no, our Moses gave us food from heaven every day for 40 years. We called it manna. And Jesus said, yeah, but that bread 
wasn't from Moses, it was from God. But people ate it and they all died. I have a different type of bread. They still didn't understand. They said, we want this bread always. And again, maybe we won't even have to eat. You just give us this bread and that will take care of our meals for the rest of our life. And finally makes it very clear. I, Jesus speaking about himself, I am the bread of life. If you feed on me, you'll never hunger. If you come to me, you'll never thirst. The continuation of this chapter is over the next three Sundays, and Jesus explains over and over again that he is the bread of life. And even the apostles, I'm sure, didn't understand exactly what he meant. Maybe at the Last Supper, when the Last Supper, he then held up the matzo bread from the Passover meal and said of that, this is my body. And he held up the kosher chalice of wine and said, this is my blood. Maybe then their eyes and their hearts were opened. How lucky we are. We believe, I hope we believe, that the body and blood of Christ is truly present on the altar each time we attend Mass. That is a beautiful sign. In fact, another word for sign in Latin <coughs> is sacrament, sacred sign, a sacred thing. The Eucharist is the sacrament, the sacrament of the living body and blood of Christ. And so if we bring Christ into us on a regular basis, Sunday after Sunday, and many of you probably go during the week as well, then we bring Jesus inside of us. Why? So we can bring him out there. We are dismissed at the end of every Mass. Go in peace to love and serve the world. What happened here in the church, now take it out to the world. We don't receive the body of Christ. We become the body of Christ. Now let us stand and make our profession of faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God gives the gift of Jesus to be the bread of life and the cup of salvation, nourishing and sustaining us. And so we pray. That all members of the church come to a deeper understanding of Jesus' gift of himself to us as the bread of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people of the world be nourished as they seek fuller life we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who lack the basic necessities of life receive from those who have been given the bread of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us seek Jesus with all our hearts and make known to others his gift of presence and nourishment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of blessings, you send bread from heaven so we might have eternal life. Give us this bread always. We ask this through the bread of life, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept these gifts and accepting the offering of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. We make our prayer as we present these gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Jesus Christ. Through Christ, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, <clears throat> and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the Last Supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, the mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect. 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There in that kingdom we all hope one day to enjoy forever the fullness of glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord, deliver us from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from danger, doubts, and anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace in my peace I give you. Do not look in our sins, look in our faith, our goodness. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us peace. peace. of God, Jesus Christ, who takes away all our sins, how blessed are we who share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks. Thanks.